Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plunge Detective, where I review, test out, and demonstrate various VSTs. For today, we're looking at the OU80, or is that OU80? I'm not sure. Uh, but this one first off, the GUI is super colorful. This is essentially, I'm going to bring this all the way up here, a massive percussion sample pack, which is really cool. I'm giving this one a 3.3 out of 5. I'm very picky, as all you know, as everyone knows who's been watching all my videos, that when it comes to percussion, VSTs are pretty harsh because I feel like they're really just a sample pack with a GUI. But I like how you can adjust a lot of the parameters on a lot of these settings. In addition, a lot of the samples are really unique. You know, and I say before so many times that, I have said before so many times that I typically use splice sounds when it comes to my percussion samples. But hey, if you don't want to spend money for a splice and just want something free, it's a perfect one to pick up. So as you can see, we have 808s, basses, cymbals, hats, kicks, uh, miscellaneous, which we'll get to, percussion, which is kind of similar to miscellaneous too, I feel like, and then some snares. So let's just play a bunch, kind of see how it sounds. Uh. All right, let me go to some basses. This to loot. Let's try bass three, maybe. It takes a quick second for each one to load. More of like an instrument, but still pretty cool. I might as well do another 808 too. Kind of glossed over that fast. Then let's go down to, let's like, say, uh, we got cymbals. And as you can see, we have a few different settings here. So we have the kind of the volume. This is the glide, which is kind of cool. I like that. Kind of reminds me a little bit like a rave style colors. Then we have the panning. So all the way on the left, all the way on the right. And then here's kind of the pitch. All right, and then let's do some hats. That'd be a cool one. And then pretty picky surprise with hi hats sometimes, especially if I want like that hi hat to make it grooving. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get the right one. And some of these I would resample as well. And we'll say just to adjust it how I want. Then we have a bunch of kicks. Obviously, picking the right kick is always incredibly important, especially like an EDM. It's pretty cool. I like that one. Really low end on that one. I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan of it, but I like that low end. Let's try a few more. These kicks are important. And then let's go to miscellaneous. See what this one has. Let's try the first one. It is interesting how some of these loaded pretty quickly, and this one's taking forever. Hopefully, this is good and it's worth the wait. Or did it freeze? May have just frozen. Oh no, it didn't. That was kind of random. I don't know why that took that long to load. It kind of like a odd horn sound. <laughs> Not really sure, but let's see. Let's load another one. It could also be that I'm recording this, you know, and I've said this before in all my other videos. Obviously, not only, only am I using this plugin, but I'm also recording this video. So sometimes it can take up a decent amount of CPU. So, as I get some water while I'm waiting for this to load up. It's taking a while. I'm kind of surprised. Kind of ran like almost woodblocky sound. Should I now like a random percussion one? Um, let me try the percussion 10. Man, this is taking a little bit. I'll do two more then. I'll do one more percussion one just because it could also be the fact that I'm recording this video. Um, so my computer might be lagging. Kind of like an odd clap sound, which is kind of cool. Let's do 25. Actually, 25 is my lucky number. Fun fact. So let's see. Oh, I kind of like that one. I like that. That's pretty cool, actually. And then let's do a couple of snares. See how these sound. I'm not sure. I've used some of these samples, but not all of them. I like that snare, actually. Obviously, this is all pitch adjustable, too, as you can hear when I kind of mess around with the pitch. So that like a snare so these are kind of random but as you can see what's kind of cool about this is that you download this one plugin you have 
That's another one that sounds like that. So I'll stop there, but as you can see, what's cool about this plugin is you download this once and you have, showing you again, 808 samples, bass samples, cymbal samples, hi-hat samples. Surprise there's no closed hat or anything like that. But anyway, um, you know, in terms of open hat, uh, closed hat, you know, kind of embellished on the sample library. But I don't know. Anyway, uh, then kicks, then miscellaneous, percussion, and snares. So very, very versatile plugin, especially for a bunch of different percussion samples. Yeah.